Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And for the new, new visitors, for the general announcement, I'm not pastor. <laughs> like, you know, we are, we are everybody sharing the word, you know, by the rotation. And uh, I was running away for, for a long time, and uh, Manaj got me again. So, so I'm, <laughs> I'm here. So. I don't think that anybody enjoying that this moment. That is very much pressure, and uh, so let's pray shortly. Father, thanks for this wonderful morning, Lord. Father, every time we gather together, you you promise us we will be with us forever, Lord. Father, open our heart and let us uh, get closer to you, Lord. We only can brag about what you did for us on the cross. That's why we are here, Lord. We love you so much. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So I, was, I was thinking about the opening, this, uh, opening my turn with a short joke. Actually, when, uh, I was in a seminary for one year, actually, when I was a young girl in the 20s. So, I was studying, and uh, and uh, there was a, you know, among the pastor, there was a one one joke, something like this. When you get to heaven, you will be shocked for three times. So first thing is because you are there. Wow, I'm here. I didn't know. <laughs> and second thing is you see Kim Jong Un there. How come? You know, because you never know, right? So maybe last moment he repent and he just accept Jesus Christ and he got to heaven. You never know. He's still young. Last thing is, where is our pastor? <laughs> so, you know, this, actually this joke is from the, a lot of pastors. They said, you never know. You know? Yeah. So, so um, I was thinking about, uh, you know, what, what should I have to share together? And then I was going into the fundamental about what we are believing. So let's, uh, let's, uh, share, let's uh, read. Uh, uh, because we don't have a children's service, I want uh, all the children, only children under 19, read this verse. Okay, let's go. As for you. Amen. Can you read it one more time? As for you, your dad in your transcription and sin. And the next one. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes. So we have another one. Just. And after that, to face judgment. Let's all read together. Just as people are destined to die once, and after that, to have just. Yes. I think that's the main reason we are, you know, we are coming to church. We know that we are sinners, and uh, we come to Christ. Because, you know, but, you know, sometimes it's very difficult to realize that we are sinners. But, you know, essential part, come to the church, you know, being a Christian is the first step is we have to admit that we are sinners. Still we are sinners. Until we go to the heaven, we are, we are sinners. But the, the, the thing is, so really, are we sinners? Do you agree? Seriously? Yeah, okay, thank you. And because, you know, I'm not judging you guys. It's all because of the Bible says. Okay, let's read together. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yeah. There's no exception. We all are sinners because we are Abraham's descendant. You know, our, our father, Abraham, you know, he, he fell. So he got into which is a simple desire in us. But, you know, when, when the Israel get into the Canaan, you know, God was trying to show us what's going to happen to us once we get the Holy Spirit. It is war. It is war. Even after, you know, Paul, uh, Paul, uh, Paul accepted Jesus Christ and he was traveling around, traveling around and, uh, you, know, you know, preaching the gospel, still, he said he is waging war against the desire from the flesh. That is in Romans chapter 7. He was like, oh, I'm a wretched man. Because my mind, my spirit wants to do God's work. 
but you know my body is pulling back to because of the sin. It's quite strong. This is the thing in in real life is happening to us, but the thing is, we have to fight. So it's a bit long, long verse. So let's uh, let's uh, read uh, Luke uh, chapter eight, eleven to fifteen. Let's read together. This is the meaning of the parable. The seed of the word of God is along the path of the one who hears, and the devil comes and takes away the words from their heart, so that they may not believe and be saved. These on the other rocky ground are the one who receive the word with joy when they hear it, but they have no root. They believe for a while, but in the time of testing, they fall away. The seed that fell along the throne of the land for those who hear, but they go on their way. They are choked by the life's worries, riches, and pleasure, and they do not mature. But the seed on good soil stand for those with a noble and good heart, who hear the word, retain, and perseverance produce a crop. So many, many, you know this, this. This, this parable is in the Matthew and Mark and Luke, all three, three gospels. And uh, the, many people believe that this is only like about preaching. You know, when you preach, you know, some people accept it. But actually, you know, Luke is specified that this is about uh, not be saved. So you accept it. You got to the, you got to the you know, you know, gospel and you accept it. You know, some people, they don't get mature and then you know it's, it choked it's just disappeared so a lot of people come to church come, come to church and, and they meet Jesus Christ and a lot of people just you know disappear just go away before the Holy Spirit get into their heart because you know it's not an easy process somehow it's just if you just say it your mouth we never know whether it's happened or not so how can you prove that but, but when you get to, get to this uh, doing mature stages and they do the, about the, about the persevering and the cr- produce a crop, then it's quite obvious. Oh, they got the Holy Spirit, you know. They got the Holy Spirit for sure. And another evidence is uh, about the, having a Holy Spirit is this. Let's read together. I'm the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Search, yourself, picked up, thrown into the fire and burn. Amen. So, what the, you know, I said Jesus Christ, before he crucified, what they keep telling to the people, you know, his disciple is this. You have to bear the fruit. You have to bear the fruit. It's not just coming to church. I think it's some last, during the last sermon, I was sharing something happened, you know, before. Uh, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was giving, I was sharing at the Manoj's, uh, you know, the fellowship that I was like, um, the, the title was uh, what, what, what on earth God want us from God want from us? So one of our sisters said, Joe, no, not everybody can be a pastor or missionary. Yeah, it's true. That's not God want us to do. The, the main thing is this. Yes. Let's read. Until we all reach unity and faith in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. The main thing is this. God wants us to be mature, and God wants us to be the you know, measure of the, the fullness of Christ. That's what God wants us to be, actually. You don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to be a missionary. Actually, the first joke was, uh, it's not for the laughing. <laughs> a lot of pastors, they said, they're not sure they can go to heaven. Seriously. Because if you just study Bible literally, you know, 
it's difficult. But if you have a Holy Spirit, because the, the main job of the Holy Spirit is that He's teaching us and He pray for us. He, he wants us to be the you know, copy of the Christ. He wants to be the, exactly like a Christ. Because you know, Jesus Christ told us, you will do even bigger thing than He did. God promised us, Jesus Christ promised us. But somehow we are lost in that, that capability. Because you know, in our life, you know, it's difficult. You know, we have a children, we have a job, and we have a, some people against me and uh, you know, quarters and with the wife. You know, when my wife is not here, so I was so angry, and then sometimes it's not, I don't listen to Holy Spirit. We do that. But thing is, you know, it doesn't matter. We have to get into the Holy Spirit, and we have to listen to Him, because we have to be mature. Otherwise, he clearly told us the you know, vine and the branches. If we don't bear the fruit, he has to prune it. We have to cut it off to make other thing, you know, other branches that have more fruit. So that's it. That's what I'm gonna try to show, share. So these day, what I can see is because you know, the this generation we are. It's very difficult to share the gospel. You know, everybody, if you go on the street, before the, you know, smartphone, everybody was reading and just, you know, look outside and you can just tell, talk to the guy, but now everybody is looking at the smartphone and then you know, watching the YouTube, with the, watching the BTS in the YouTube. And <laughs> they have too many gods now. Too many things occupy their heart, so there's no room for the Holy Spirit for them. It is difficult. But there's one solution for that. We can do what Jesus Christ did. If the people see that, you know, there are some people get, some Christian live by the Holy Spirit, full of the you know, fruit, they see the difference, actually. It's not just a word. They have to see it, our lives. That's what happened in the Acts. You know, before the, before the people, you know, they share the gospel. What they saw is they are like a speaking tongues, and they raised the, raised the dead from dead, dead, and uh, you know there's so many things happen there in their lives, and you know, they see the, all the obvious fruit of the Holy Spirit, and they come to Christ because they see you. They have to see our lives, which means we have to bear the fruit first. We have to change it, otherwise it's very difficult to, especially this generation is like this. That's what I can, what I feel. So I'm praying a lot. It is, dif it is difficult, you know. My wife is really stubborn, you know. So I, I cannot convince her to come to Christ. She needs a special measurement. I mean, like, you know, I have to be like Christ, <laughs> otherwise she cannot come to, she come to Christ. So why don't you pray? Uh, Let's take a bit of moment and ask the Holy Spirit, Spirit guide your light and bear much fruit. And everybody can see the fruit and glorify our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray a little bit and I pray. Father Lord, thank you so much, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are here, Father. We want to bear the fruit, Lord. We want to bear fruit like you command us to do that, Lord. Father. It's not easy. We are fighting against our flesh and desire, Lord. Father, help us. You promise us a uh, lack of wisdom. You, we, we ask you will be with us. You will give us abundantly, Lord. That's what we are asking, Lord. Father, keep us your spirit. Have mercy on us, us, Father. Let us have a desire. Let us have a desire. Father, we thank you for your sacrifice on the cross, Lord. Otherwise, we couldn't have a Holy Spirit. Otherwise, we couldn't talk to you directly, Lord. Father, in our daily lives, every single moment, let us talk to you. And let us read the Bible and let us go, grow into the measure of the Christ, Lord. We want to be like Christ. And everybody can see our lives and... They, they come to us and ask us, uh, what, what's different from you? Well, you? You look like a, 
living with God, like we want to hear that kind of testimony from the people, and we want to share the gospel with the with, with the people around us, right? Father, we are weak and we have uh, so many issues and problems, but I know you can do 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 many changes in our lives, Lord. Help us, give us wisdom as you promised, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ.